guys, it's Micah and today we're building a room. If you had a kitchen and a bathroom, it could definitely be a small apartment. So we finally arrived. We have bunk beds. How long have we been begging and throwing money at EA for this day? For me personally, since getting back into Sims 2, the grand finale won't be until we have cars. But I won't get into that. People get upset about that conversation. But I will say, if if some of you guys didn't make it to the Twitch stream to see Sims, I'm a bit disappointed because some of the Twitch comments were ridiculously disrespectful. Y'all was in there clowning. Like, giving your money to someone doesn't warrant your disrespect. Y'all was really clowning in there. Overall, it was nice to see. And I saw some a couple of other things in the stream, like auto sofas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was down at the bottom. They didn't show us, of course, but I saw that. And we don't have auto sofas. So how are the bunk beds working for y'all? I saw that some people said that the smaller desk can fit under the loft bed, but others said they have to place the bigger desk just right for it to work. Otherwise you can't get on top of the bunk beds. And some people felt it was underwhelming while others are upset they feel like it's an unfinished product. So I was like, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to play around with it. My sister updated it on my computer and she immediately got on and she was having issues with the game. If you guys don't know her, her name is Miss Gamer. She let me know she, she was having issues with the game and my sister was having the same issues as her. And so you have to take out a certain mod. It's the tool mod. It really, really helps me do what I have to do in the game. I was like, what, what, what am I supposed to do? I'm still kind of playing on whether I'm not taking out my game, but I haven't played it for myself. So I'm going to see first if there's any issues and if I can fix it instead of having to take it out. But like I said, I haven't had a chance to play around with it since the update. This conversation would have been perfect for my next room build, but I got like a bunch of builds saved up. So I shouldn't be having no issues. I did these builds like last year and I still haven't shown any of them. So I have stuff just in case. I'm just happy it's an update and I didn't have to pay for nothing. I'm pretty sure with, with like the next game that comes out, they're probably going to have like new bunk, bunk beds in there to buy. But like overall the update, I didn't have to pay no money. It was an update, thankfully. I also saw that they upgraded some of the posters and paintings, which as a sim builder, I'm happy about that because we really do be needing paintings. The best part for me with this update is how fast sims can shower and eat now. Good God, they used to take forever to eat. Definitely miss actually playing The Sims for it. Whenever I do anything in The Sims, I always feel like I have to show what I'm doing. So I just stopped playing it. I haven't played it in a long time. I just play Sims too. One of these days, I just need to sit down, play with The Sims. I've been really busy. Uh, my days consist of building, exercising, and I'm currently falling deep in love with myself. There's just a lot about myself that I haven't discovered yet and I'm teaching myself to enjoy me and i'm trying to enjoy the process of that so i've limited my time online so yeah that is all for today y'all hope you have a good day bye guys love you